calendar. I'm going to show you how to manage your orders and attendees once your ticket sales or RSVPs have started to come in. The order process depends on the e-commerce plugin that's configured, so be sure to check the Knowledge Base article linked in the description for more information. In general, here's a brief overview of how the order process works. A customer adds one or more tickets to their cart and checks out. An order or purchase record is created. Note that if you're collecting RSVPs, they don't create or send order confirmations but completed registrations will be captured and accessible in the attendee report for that event. In your WordPress dashboard, you review the order by hovering over the event and clicking orders. If you're happy with the order, you can mark it complete. Some e-commerce plugins will do this automatically. The moment the order is completed, the tickets are generated and emailed to the customer. You can click on the attendees tab and you'll see that the attendees list for the event has been updated in WordPress with the ticket information and the attendee details if you were collecting any. So that was an overview of the order process. Now let's look at the attendee list. The attendee list is a report of all ticket purchases and RSVP registrations for an event. And there are three convenient ways to access it. The first is to go to your events list, hover over the event, and click on the attendees link. The second way is from within the tickets meta box in the content editor. Open up the event editing screen. Scroll down to the tickets box and click attendees. The third way is to click the attendees link in the WordPress admin toolbar when you're viewing the event on your site. No matter which method you choose, you'll be taken to a new screen where you'll see a list of attendees, including the purchaser name, email, ticket ID, and a unique ticket security code. On the day of your event, you can check in your attendees from this list. For Event Tickets Plus, we also have an app that you can use to check in your attendees with a QR code that's included in their ticket email. See our Knowledge Base article for more information on QR codes. And if you need to resend a ticket, just hover over the attendee's name and click Resend Ticket. On this screen, you can also see any additional attendee information that you collected during registration. To extract your attendee data to use elsewhere, use the buttons at the top and bottom of the attendees list to print, email, and export. You can also easily filter the attendees list by purchaser name, email, ticket ID, order status, and more, which is handy if you have a large attendee list. If you like to work in bulk to save time, be sure to check out the bulk actions list, which allows you to check in, undo check in, delete, and move multiple attendees and tickets at once. If you want to let your attendees edit their information, there are a few steps required. First, you need to make sure that folks can make user accounts on your WordPress site. Head to Dashboard, Settings, General, and check the Anyone Can Register under Membership. Next, head to Tickets, Settings, General, and locate the Login Requirements section to require login for RSVPs or tickets or both. Don't forget to scroll down and click Save Changes. With these settings enabled, 
Once someone has RSVP'd or purchased a ticket for an event, when they view that event, they'll see an info box. They can click on this to view their RSVP or ticket. They can modify their RSVP response, or they can edit the name and email address associated with their ticket and change their attendee information details. So that wraps up this quick overview on how to manage your orders and attendees. Thanks for watching and be sure to see the Knowledge Base article linked in the description below for more information.